Xero's bank feeds make managing your account even easier, but there may be some times when you need to manually import your activity, before bank feeds are set up, for instance. We've shown you how to import your bank statement data in a separate video. Here, we will discuss the ins and outs in greater detail. Within your internet banking, you're given the option to export transaction history for your accounts. Depending on your bank, there may be a CSV, OFX, or QIF files available. In this video, we will be looking at a CSV file. A CSV file is a comma-separated value file, which can be opened and edited in a spreadsheet program, such as Excel. CSV files can also be created using templates provided by Xero or by entering the information straight into a spreadsheet program. In some situations, you might be starting off with a CSV file from another accounting system, which might require a little tidying before it's ready to go into Xero. The information which Xero needs in order to import a bank statement CSV is very simple. You only need the date and transaction amount for each line. At this point, you could save the file and bring it into Xero, but you'd make your life easier if you at least have a payee or description column as well. Xero requires only one column for the transaction amount with positive numbers for incoming amounts and negative numbers for expenses. So, if the file you're using has income and expenses in separate columns, you will need to merge them into one column ensuring you keep incoming figures as positive and change the expense figures to negative amounts. Most CSV files you import into Xero require headers, but with bank transactions, you can choose whether or not to use a header row or not. It does have to be consistent though, either no headings at all, or all columns have headings. Xero can automatically recognize some headings, such as date, description, and payee. However, if Xero can't recognize what is in the first row as a heading or transaction, the statement may fail to import. So a good rule is always to have a column A with the date information in it. Double check your date formats. Make sure you format the dates in your CSV file to match how Xero is expecting them to be imported. If you use a format which has the year in full, 2015 instead of 15, it will increase the success rate. Make sure your file is saved in the correct CSV format. Choose the Save As option and make sure the file format is CSV. There will be other prompts to follow. CSV is a format which saves the data as plain text. Those will be the main things you need to check, and at this point, your file may be ready to import. However, there are a few other quirks to look out for. If there are any spaces between rows of information, these need to be removed or they will stop the file from importing. Make sure there isn't any random data in the file. If you see an odd word or number that is not relevant to what you are importing, make sure you delete it. Also, if you notice that the scroll bar is strangely small, it may be a clue that there is a bit of data right at the bottom of the file. Finally, if you cannot find any incorrect data, but you're still having trouble importing, it is possible the file has somehow broken itself. To fix this, select the data from the current CSV file, copy and then paste to a new spreadsheet and save it in as a fresh CSV. Okay, now you can import your CSV file. After you're logged into Xero, go to Manage Account and Import a Statement. Click Browse, select the CSV file, and Import. Now on the Statement Import Options page, make sure you are happy with the mapping of where each column of your CSV file is being assigned to in Xero. And when you're ready to import, click Save. The confirmation box will notify you of what has been imported into Xero.